what is tetralogy of phthalate? In tetralogy of phthalate, what are the four things that we see? There is pulmonary stenosis and overriding iota. There is membranous VSD, ventricular septal defect and also right ventricular hypertrophy. So, these four things are the tetralogy of phthalate. Now, imagine this is the primitive ventricle and this is the truncus arteriosus. So, this is the primitive ventricle, only single chamber primitive ventricle and this is the common channel, the truncus arteriosus, arteriosus. And from the floor of the primitive ventricle, from the floor of the primitive ventricle, you have development of the membranous or muscular part, a muscular part of the interventricular septum, muscular part of interventricular septum. And the endocardial cushions as well as the aortic pulmonary septum that develops in the truncus arteriosus, they contribute for the membranous part. So, this is the membranous part of the interventricular septum. Now, in tetralogy of phthalate, what happens is that there is malalignment of this aorticopulmonary septum. So, this aorticopulmonary septum, this actually originates or gets malaligned very closer like this towards the right side. So, there will be pulmonary stenosis because it is um, aligned on one side, there is a malalignment of aortic pulmonary septum and the blood from both ventricles can enter into iota that will lead to what? Overriding iota and what type of VSD will develop? Is it muscular VSD or membranous VSD? A membranous VSD. So, pulmonary stenosis, overriding iota and membranous VSD. And over a period of time, this right ventricle will enlarge and that enlargement of the right ventricle will produce the heel of the boot, producing you boot shaped heart. Boot shaped heart is feature of tetralogy of phthalate. The last thing to develop in the tetralogy is what? Right ventricular hypertrophy. Please look at this image. The right heart border on a chest x-ray is formed by superior vena cava, right atrium and inferior vena cava. Right ventricle forms the anterior surface of the heart, not the right heart border. The left heart border is formed by the aortic knuckle, the aortic arch, the main pulmonary artery, the pulmonary conus, the left auricle, not left atrium, the appendage of the left atrium, the left auricle, not the left atrium and as well as the left ventricle, they form the left heart border. So, left heart border, aortic knuckle, the pulmonary conus, the main pulmonary artery, the left auricle and the left ventricle. Now, look at this just radiograph. What do you think is this radiograph showing you? In this radiograph, we find that uh, the cardiac uh, shadow looks pretty much okay. But if you observe more carefully, you will see a upward pointed cardiac apex. The apex is turned upwards like that. And you also have this heel, the right ventricular hypertrophy. And this appearance is called as cor and sebot, cor and sebot or a Turkish shoe like appearance, Turkish shoe where the apex is pointed upwards. And Another important thing is if you observe, there is a concavity here, concavity here and this concavity of the pulmonary area of the left heart border, this because remember in uh, tetralogy of phthalate, there is pulmonary stenosis and in pulmonary stenosis, what will happen to the pulmonary conus or the pulm main pulmonary artery, it will be small, it will not show the convexity, it will show concavity and there is an overriding iota, so the aortic shadow appears large. So, there is loss of the pulmonary convexity or the pulmonary area is concave and there is a large iota 
all of this give the appearance of a boot. So there are two things, a boot shaped hut or a car and sabot. Boot shaped hut is the concave pulmonary area, car and sabot is the upward turned cardiac apex. And when there is pulmonary stenosis, what happens to the lung fields? Do you think there will be more vessels or less vessels? Obviously, there will be pulmonary oligemia. All of this is feature of tetralogy of palate. Tetralogy of palate. I hope you understand. Boot shaped heart and cor and sabot. The upward pointed cardiac apex because of the right ventricular hypertrophy is causing the left ventricle to be pushed slightly upwards. The right ventricular hypertrophy is called the cardiac apex is formed by the left ventricle. So whenever there is concentric right ventricular hypertrophy, the cardiac apex is pushed upwards. This all thing is giving the appearance of a boot shaped heart or a coron sabot in tetralogy of phallet. So please look at here. This is your boot, right? The concavity here. And uh, this is your coron sabot, the Turkish shoes. So this upward pointed cardiac apex. So remember boot shaped heart in tetralogy of palate.